When you think back on some of the risks you took in your younger years, do you ever find yourself wondering what possessed you? Many people view teenagers as reckless and irresponsible, and as adults, we might sometimes even marvel at the fact that we made it through those years in one piece. But throughout our teenage years, our brain is changing in many different ways, and according to Dr. Daniel Siegel, there is a fundamental change in the brain that may explain adolescents' risky behavior. The brain of an adolescent, since it's pushing away from adults, pushing away from the status quo, and the cortex itself, which basically is mapping out all sorts of things, the back of it maps out three-dimensional space, usually with the eyes, the side for mapping out sound, the upper side, the parietal lobes for mapping out the limits of our body, the front frontal lobe for thinking conceptually is developing a lot during adolescence, especially the prefrontal cortex is developing. It's transforming in its pruning and myelination. It's becoming more and more integrated through time. One thing we believe happens is that you're literally able to think about things in new combinations called creative explorations. And what happens in this process is you have something which people didn't realize because everyone was saying, oh, adolescents are doing risky things because they're impulsive. Now, that's partially true that in early teenage years, the ability to resist an impulse, in fact, is hard to do because of the remodeling of the brain. That's true. But risky behavior continues when impulsivity has subsided. And there's another mechanism beyond and in many ways more concerning than impulsivity because impulsivity you say is learn to control your impulses do mindfulness meditation whatever you're going to do develop more self-awareness that's important for sure the second mechanism is something that surprised everybody it's called hyper rational thinking and what it is if you picture our brain hand model it's where the limbic area is appraising the significance of the positive, thrilling, boundary-breaking aspects of a possible activity and minimizing the appraisal of significance to the downsides, to the risks, to the cons. It elevates the pros. Should I do it or not? Yeah, pro, pro, pro. It minimizes the cons. So unlike what many parents think, that adolescents are just not informed about danger, Research shows usually, in fact, they do know about the danger. In fact, in some situations, they overestimate the likelihood of danger, but they carry out the behavior anyway, which is like totally confusing. Why is that? Well, the limbic area is skewed this way. Minimize a concern about the dangers. Maximize, hyper-emphasize the pros. If you've ever viewed teenagers as careless or irresponsible, it appears that the changes happening in their brain are actually a reason for their behavior. To hear more about the changes our brain goes through, particularly during adolescence, tune in to this week's webinar with Dr. Siegel. During the session, he'll also get into how the limbic system and brain system work together to help adults get motivated and how that is different in an adolescent brain. You can watch the webinar for free at the time it's broadcast just click the link below to sign up.